Welcome back everybody. Just uh, was cleaning this gun up and thought well we might as well do a quick video on it. Um, this is the uh, North American Arms 22 mag and 22 long rifle wasp. And this is my second North American Arms firearm and the first one I don't believe I ever got a video up on it because I had some failure, fa failures with it. If I can get that word out. And what the failures were, well we'll go into that in a minute as we take a closer look at the firearm. Now really the Wasp is a, has a premium price on it. This one, um, when I bought it some time ago to replace the other one was a uh, return and they did not know how it got returned to the store but it did and they sold it to me at a pretty reasonable price it was still on fired in the, in the box in fact I've got the box laying around here I'll grab it so you can see exactly what you get the box is one of the nicest boxes you'll ever get with a new firearm uh, they don't skimp on that part of it but the wasp is just an upgraded version dolled up a little bit from the the standard one I had previously that I had the problems with so far this one has held up just fine um, what it does, um, it comes with the extra cylinder and this, uh, yes, this cylinder is the uh, long 22 long rifle cylinder. We can get it to focus up. It has an L on it. That differentiates it from the uh, 22 Magnum cylinder. You can see it's got some engraving and the bluing is uh, in the cylinder in various places to get it that nice two-tone look. Uh, the barrel is a brushed barrel while the frame is well it's actually a pebbled type finish on the barrel and then the frame is kind of a brushed semi-gloss type finish. You can see the hammer skeletonized that's one of the uh, uh, wasp features also the the vents are cut into the to the barrel and then the takedown and reloading pin it's also got those little engravings on it. Uh, that's the 22 mag cylinder in it. It is empty as you can see. So we'll go ahead and cock it up here. It's got a very nice trigger. It's somewhat heavy. I haven't put a pull gauge on it, but I would guess it's in the oh, six pound range, maybe slightly more. Very crisp. There's no it's just like glass breaking though but it does take quite a bit of pull which is good for what these are intended to be just a little throw in your pocket gun you can see the size of it this is the longer barrel this is the one and five eighths barrel they have a one and an eighth barrel which my previous one was rubber grips I have a set of boot grips <clears throat> on the way for it I finally decided to try that they do actually have a little bit of snap with the 22 Magnum uh, round they are quite um, light and so that gives them that uh, that extra punch in your your hand when you can only hold on with two fingers barely and uh, in fact I can't really comfortably get my second finger on it so I'm hoping the boot grip will fix that little problem make it a little more comfortable to carry yet maintain its carryability um, now you know the if you're watching this you probably know the takedown features this one also has a, a bead front sight I'm not sure the other ones have that the standard ones they do make versions with adjustable sights um, of course you pay an additional premium for all of that too in the longer barreled versions and the swing out cylinder I think they call that sidewinder see there's really not a real sight there's a little notch where the hammer slides into uh, it does not really act as a rear sight there's your sight picture now the takedown on these is fairly simple to say the least you just have this little spring bowl loaded plunger that releases a dedent ball um, that goes up into a little recess in the barrel that's uh, kind of a safety half cock position uh, they do have notches just like an old Colt or black powder firearm would have 
um, no safety notches are too once you have it loaded you can rotate it into uh, one of those safety notches and it does not allow the cylinder to turn then it locks it up the little uh, firing pin on the hammer so to speak locks it up and supposedly you can carry it safely that way um, but anyway take down this is pressed the pin comes sliding right out then the cylinder drops out of it that's the way off to also have to reload it um, if you have a stuck shell you just use this uh, cylinder pin and you knock the empty cases right out of the cylinder and uh, putting it back together is the same way I like to roll it in from the uh, opposite side as the uh, the bolt is that's what I call the bolt the cylinder lock there then you kind of have to hold your teeth just right get everything lined up I like to push the plunger to help it slide in eventually you'll get everything lined up and it'll snap back into place and that's all there is to it of course made in uh, Provo Utah North American Arms right here in the good old US of A and uh, that's about all there is to it I carried in a little uh, pocket holster it carries additional ammunition uh, it's the same holster that I used on my other one but I had to get one that would accommodate the uh, the longer barrel and then when I'm not using the cylinders I whip up these little uh, leather cases from the local uh, uh, leather craft shop and uh, that's where I keep my spare cylinders I also keep uh, my Ruger cylinders the same way on my uh, 22 Magnum 22 long rifle Rugers so and I have several of these that I do that with of course this one's marked for the Wasp 22 let me grab the box real quick so you can see exactly what you get uh, this one came in a cardboard box first of all but and then inside of the cardboard box you see I don't use the box it just gets stored away you have this very fine metal box with a pretty swell finish on it, kind of a pebbled rough finish and it's lockable and then just a foam lined case the, the spare cylinder will come wrapped in this little plastic and then your usual manual keys for the, for the gun and uh, I suppose through that method they don't have to provide you with a trigger lock since the gun is in this locked up case it takes the place of that I'm sure it would have been a lot cheaper to provide you with a trigger lock rather than this pretty nice affair I won't complain about it I don't know if that is going to add a premium onto the price of the firearm or not but anyway that's what you get when you buy one brand new so anyway, there we go. I just wanted to show this, um, and before, but before I go, as I said before, I had problems with my previous firearm. And I have some videos up on that. You can go back and research that. We'll. Uh, but what happened was that there's where that little ball in this pin fits, and you can see the ball when you depress this the ball it allows the ball to fall up into place and allows it to move then but what what happened on my previous 22 magnum this ball was uh, wearing on one side of the uh, detent here for it in the barrel and that was allowing the cylinder to actually move and get out of time far enough that it wouldn't fire anymore that one also had a horrid problem of one, after one cylinder of 22 mags, it was so dirty I could not reload the next uh, the next five rounds. So needless to say, I sent it back in for that for the, for those problems, and not only once but twice they rebarreled it and sent it back to me. 
the first time did the exact same thing by the time it was uh, had just a couple of cylinder folds through it it was too dirty to load again and the D-dent ball had worked itself to the point where it would not fire anymore sent it back they replaced the barrel I never even shot it and I sold the gun because I was tired of it but I saw this wasp I really liked the way it looked has a little longer barrel so I said I'm gonna give him another chance and maybe that's foolish I don't know we'll find out so far though this one has proven to be completely reliable both with the, the magnums and the uh, the long rifle cylinders needless to say it's uh, for up close and personal use accuracy is nothing to really shout about uh, if you can hit something more than 10 feet away you're doing really good but they're not really designed for that um, another option I like to use them is uh, bird shot or snake shot or however whatever you want to call it but uh, the 22 shot shells great for fishing and carrying it in your pocket and sna dispatching snakes and vermin if you have to so there you go just wanted to do that quick uh, up close look tabletop view of the North American Arms or NAA uh, 22 Magnum Wasp Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time with some more uh, military surplus firearms coming up.